hello beautiful people welcome welcome back to my channel all right so today i'm going to show you how i made this beautiful and very simple detachable tool train what you're seeing right now is the fittings so it's not yet finished but this is how much i can show you but in this video i'll show you how i use velcro which i promised that i was going to show you how i use velcro to attach a detachable train to your wedding dress so the first thing to do is to measure where you want your train to start from and that's what i'm doing i'm going to measure from the shoulder point to exactly where i want the train to be and so i used pin to you know just recognize the points where i want the train to start from i repeated the same process on the back of the dress and then i started pinning my velcro down i did not show it at this point because i wanted um the i wanted to do the fittings first to be sure that the measurement around the knee is accurate before sewing it with a sewing machine but what i did first was just to pin the velcro on the dress at the point where i want the train to start from and then do the fittings before sewing it down i then went ahead to measure the circumference of the of the point at which i want the train to start from so that i would use it to measure the band of the train and after doing all this i folded the dress the main dress away and i started working on the train and so for the flare that will be under the train i'll be using this silky fabric i don't know what to call it really i know it's silky and it's not heavy it's not too light but it's not heavy so let's just leave it as silky fabric okay <laughs> all right so i'll be using this to cut half circular flare all right so in this video i don't want to go into the details of showing you how to cut half flare but if you're interested and you really want to know how to cut half flare full flare double flare whatever flare you want to learn i'll make another video to show you how to do that well i'll only show the flares i know of by the way <laughs> so i'll show all the flares and how to cut them in another video but that's if you're interested in seeing such so in this video i'll just be using the half circular flare for the inner of the train and then i went i had to cut the band and for the band i'm not using the same fabric because the circle fabric is too soft for the band so i'm making use of a bridal satin right now it has more structure it is thicker and even after that i'm still going to add stay to it just to give it more structure so that i can carry the weight of the train well okay all right so right now i'm cutting it on fold because i could not get a straight length um for my band so i'm cutting it on fold i'm going to join the two strips together later on so i'm using the circumference of the knee area where i want the train to start from for the length of the band and then for the width i'm using four inches so that when it's folded and tucked in it will be 1.5 the width would be 1.5 when the band is finished so four inches for the width of the band and the length of my band is the circumference of my knee area where i want the string to start from i added an excess of about four inches just so that if the fittings would require i add more to the band it would be difficult if there are no excess already and then number two because i wanted the train to overlap at the back so it wouldn't be so obvious where the end of the train is exactly and now guys to the main ingredient of this our concussion <laughs> it's the tool the tool guys the tools that is the main ingredient of our train yeah <laughs> it's the main fabric okay all right so i think i used about 
20 yards if i can remember well it's, it's been quite a while since i recorded the video actually so i think i used about 20 yards for the train and 20 yards isn't even much okay it's a very simple train so 20 yards isn't much at all so i used about 20 yards so off camera i cut the tool into the length of the train say for example the length of the train is 25 inches so i cut into the tool into length 25 inches as many as i can get from this 20 yards so after doing that i went on to my sewing machine so back to my skirt so the first thing i did was to hem the edges of the skirt using a serger or an overlock um overlocking machine i weave the edges okay <laughs> and you can hem it using normal stitches too it doesn't have to be this way okay so then i'm going to join my half circle together um where i would, I would where i would call the zip allowance so what i did was to um leave about seven inches opening from the waist or the circumference of the skirt down i left about seven inches and then sewed the remaining part of the skirt okay so now um i started joining the tool to the skirt that's the half circular skirt and um, what i did was to pick about four pieces of mesh was i pleated about four pieces of mesh together at once just look at the video you'd understand so i pleated about four pieces of mesh together at once i started from the waist i think at the middle of the waist um that was where i started the pleating from so having to align four pieces of mesh together before pleating was kind of tedious um and i realized that what i could have done before now was to probably stitch the four pieces together on a straight strip like stitch everything together to make a straight you know one long strip of mesh and then start pleating that would have made it easier because right like at that point i had to struggle a lot with making sure that i'm holding four pieces together and pleating them together at the same time so after going round once like once i was able to go round the circumference once i had to come down by about one inch to continue pleating round like spiral like something going spiral all the way down that was the way i pleated it this is to give um your train some kind of cone shape so it's 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 slimmer at the top and becomes wider at the bottom it will come out even more beautiful if you use more mesh like if you use more tool maybe you use about 50 yards of tool 100 yards of tool it will become nicer to be nicer and fuller so i'm just going to let you watch the whole process of pleating 20 yards of tool which like i said it's not even much so if you want to make this kind of skirt and you want it really full i'd advise you, con you consider 50 to 100 yards of tool to get fuller like fuller results okay
so I pleated the tool over the opening I made as if the opening was not there so what I'm going to do now is to slit it to open it up with scissors you know by cutting the tool of course it doesn't matter because tool does not fray okay and this is even a better um, method because the joining would not be seen from outside because you know it's just be all mesh all tool please what's the difference between mesh and tool i call net mesh tool i really don't know the differences Maybe I'll find out after this video, but if you do know the difference, please let me know in the comment section. But just know that I'm referring to the tool when I say mesh, when I say net, whichever way, okay? <laughs> so after that, I began to attach the band. So like I said earlier, I said I was going to add stay. I think I did. I can't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> so what I did was to iron it into a bias. I ironed the band into bias by turning it in so I just folded it over the skirt just like I'm doing in the video. Then I began to add the other side of the velcro to the band. I sewed it at the edges of the skirt band. A side of the velcro is on the dress, another, another side is on the train. Alright guys, so after sewing the band, Here's the band. After sewing it, I then um, overlaid the lace, um, the tool on it like so. I just sew it on it so that the band would not show on the on the outside. And uh, with this, I'm pretty much done with with this um, train. All right, so I'm going to wear it on Annabelle just to see how it looks so annabelle is my mannequin and this is what the train looks like i've not attached this one to the body and that's because i want her to wear it first i want to do the fitting all the adjustment necessary before attaching this to the bodies so this was just pinned to the bodies i think i might still have to trim the edges but that's when I see it on that and see if the length is okay or not. It's quite a simple, a simple dress. Nothing complex.